In this video, I will show you how to master all the secrets of LinkedIn search to find leads and find companies and how to get the most out of the search engine using Boolean search. So let's dive right in. Okay, so to access LinkedIn search, just need to click here on search press enter and then you're going to see all the available options here so we're going to start by um, checking the people search if you are looking for leads so here you get few filters but to see all filters you can go all filters here and on your right you're going to see all filters available to uh, search for leads so first one is connection so here you can filter um, based on the level of connection you get with uh, people so first connection you're going to see all the people you are connected with and if you want to do prospecting, it's better to select second and third degree. So you are sure to um, contact people you are not yet connected with. Then you can add some location. Here I will pick United States, for example. So the location of the lead, not the location of their companies. Speaking about companies, you can select uh, so companies here. Let's say Google, random company. You can uh, select past companies as well. Could be useful if you are looking for alumni, like, uh, for example, I'm looking for like people that used to work at Facebook, but now are working in Google. So I could select like past company Meta and uh, current company Google. So I will select people that move from Meta to, to Google. I can select schools as well, uh, industry. So this one is interesting because industry is like the, the industry you select for yourself on your profile. So I will show you right now. What is it like? So basically, when you go on your LinkedIn profile, you click on the little pen here, you got the industry here. And honestly, I advise you not to use this filter because there is like two use cases. Some people are using it to describe the, the industry of their company. So, for example, if I work in a software company, I would like to select uh, computer software. And some people are using to describe their department. So if I work in sales or marketing for a software company, I will select uh, sales or, or marketing. So I advise you not to use it because it gives really random results. Like let's say I did a mistake on my profile and I select chemicals as my industry. If I go in the industry and select, you know, chemical, and if I deselect everything here, you're going to see that. Uh, my profile will appear into the chemical industry, but I'm not in into the chemical industry at all. I'm in the software industry, you know. Let me select um, the industry again. So chemicals here. You can see that my industry is chemical. And if I select another one, like commercial real estate, you see here. See my profile disappear. So LinkedIn thinks I work in chemical. So this field is really messy. So I advise you not to use it. And let's say you filter on a particular industry and you and you mention this industry into your outreach message, like the, like uh, oh I noticed that you work in the computer software industry and and these people are not working in the software industry at all. Your message will be totally irrelevant. Okay, so let's get back to our initial search. To that you get profile language. So here you select the language you you target. Open to pro bono consulting and joining no profit board. Um, this field is not uh, is not really useful for most people, but if this is your case, you can use it. And then an interesting field is service category. Basically, this is like the the service you can add on your profile here. Get a new section on your LinkedIn profile now, uh, providing services. And here you can add some services you can provide. This is often filled by freelancers, agencies. If you want to target freelancers or agencies, this is really good. So there is pre-made categories, but you can see the list. So you get to write keywords to find areas like this. Here, for example, I select email marketing and you will see that if I do control F here, that in every profile, there will be provided services and email marketing will be written in every profile after that you get keywords and the cool thing is that you can look for job titles here for example let's say i'm looking for freelance and here you're gonna have all the freelancers again and freelance will be written into every job title here and in this field you can use what is called boolean search so this is a really strange word, but there is a really simple idea behind it. Basically, this is a really simple programmatic language that will allow you to use logical connectors for your LinkedIn search. 
first one is end. By using end, you will tell LinkedIn that you want several keywords to appear on the job title of your prospect. Like here, for example, I want head of sales and marketing. I can write like head and sales and marketing. And basically by writing that, I'm telling LinkedIn that I want head and sales and marketing to appear on the job title. So let's press show results. See that here I got head of sales and marketing, head of sales and marketing, head of sales and marketing, head of sales, comma, marketing, global head of sales and marketing. So in every profile, there is a three words I wanted, head, sales, and marketing. Here we got another example, head of sales, supply, and marketing, you know. Second logical connector you can use is or, and by using or, you're going to tell LinkedIn that you want one of the keyword of your choice to appear on the title of your prospect. So here I will make an example by looking for head of sales or head of marketing. So let's take the title field. Okay. Here. Oh, okay. I'm going to make it and let's write head of sales. or head of marketing and here click on show results and here i'm gonna get either head of marketing or head of sales and you can see in the search results head of marketing head of sales head of marketing head of sales head of marketing head of marketing head of sales and marketing so this is really useful if you for example you have your list of job titles you know you want to target you just copy paste them and put or between them and then LinkedIn gonna give you the list of all your potential prospects. The last logical connector you can use is not and by using not you're gonna exclude the profiles that contain the specified keyword. So for example here if I'm looking for head of sales you know I make a search for head of sales I'm digging into the result and I'm seeing that I got a lot of head of sales and marketing and I only want people dedicated to sales. So here I got 200,000 results. And if I had not marketing, you can see that I deleted from the search results more than 40,000 people. So within the 200,000 people, there were like 40,000 uh, head of sales and marketing. That's how you use the title filter in the keywords section. You can also use the general keywords search by using the search bar just above. So title will only look into the job titles. But if you are using the, the field here, you're going to search into the whole profile of your prospect. It may produce irrelevant results because let's say like one of your prospect head of sales like five years ago, it will come out in this search. So for example, here I have just with an head of sales as a keyword. And if I check the last page, I'm going to see that I have here head of client success, founder, assistant. And this guy is gross engineer, but he's coming out in a cell in a search for head of sales. And I guess if we are digging into the profile and maybe looking for head of sale here, we're going to see that it was a head of sales, but 14 years ago. So that's clearly irrelevant. You don't want to contact this guy saying that, oh, I noticed you were a head of sales. Not at all, not a head of sales anymore. So be careful when you are using the general keyword search with the bar here, make sure to use the title filter to look into the actual and current job titles of your prospect. That's it for people search. So remember to avoid using the industry filter. Use Boolean search to make precise query to the search engine and use the title filter instead of the general uh, keyword uh, filter to avoid having irrelevant results in your searches. I advise you to keep the keyword filter to look for uh, keywords inside the job description of your prospects. So let's say I want to target people in marketing that are doing offline marketing. Offline marketing will not be written into the job title because someone will never like give so much precision about the, about the job titles. It will be written like in the job description. So what I can do is like look for people working in marketing in the title here and add like offline marketing as a keyword. And if I check the first results, and if I do like control F offline 
marketing. You know that here you can see that the keyword is appearing on the job description and not the job title. So if you are looking for niche keywords that only appear on the job description and not the job titles, you can use the keyword filters. But if the job title uh, is enough for you, just use the job title filter and not the keyword filter. Now we're going to see how to use LinkedIn to search for companies. Okay, so when I'm on the LinkedIn search, I just need to click on companies here. And actually there is much less filters, gap, location, industry. So this will be the real industry uh, of the company. You won't get the, the people industry problem. So you can totally use the industry when you are looking for, for companies. You can have the company size as well. Let's say I'm looking for SaaS companies, you know, um, in the US that are hiring. So the cool thing is that you can select companies that are currently hiring on LinkedIn. So if I want to make sure that the company has budget and is currently growing, I can select job listing on LinkedIn and LinkedIn will only show me companies that are currently hiring on LinkedIn. I can click here, show results and I can look for keywords as well here. And here you can totally use the keyword filter because there is much less information on the company page than on the LinkedIn profile because you only get the company name, specialties and uh, the company description. So here, for example, you can see that the keyword has been found into the specialties field. Basically, the specialties are like keywords uh, that are uh, summing up the activity of, uh, of the company. Here, every time this is in specialties, if I go in the last page, okay, no results found. Here, the company description, the keyword is found. Not so much in the in the title, uh, but yeah, mostly into the specialties and, and the company description. And you can see that the, the fields you're gonna look into are much more reduced because you only get yeah, company name, company description, and the specialties. So the chances of getting irrelevant results with the keyword search are really uh, reduced uh, with the company search. I wanna add a little bonus for you guys if you are looking to generate leads with LinkedIn search. You can also look for groups and LinkedIn events with the LinkedIn search. Let's say I'm targeting like freelancers, you can go into groups and select freelance here. And here I'm gonna have many freelance groups and I can here request to join in. If I got like something to sell a product or service to these people, I can then access the, the list of the group members. So here I'm gonna show you a group I'm member of. And once you get accepted by the admins of the group, you can click here on see all. And you're gonna see all the people that are part of this group. And the good thing is that once you are inside a group, you can message everyone in the group without being connected to them. So here I can send direct messages to all these people without sending a connection request first. I can do exactly the same thing for LinkedIn events. Let's say, you know, I'm targeting freelancers as well or head of sales. You know, I can write sales here, go on events. And here I'm gonna see all the events about sales. So here I have making LinkedIn your main lead generation channels in 2022. So if I'm selling LinkedIn lead generation services, the people that are attending to this event could potentially be my clients. I just need here to sign up for the event. And once I'm signed up to an event, I can go on the networking tab here. And here I'm gonna have access to all the event attendees. And like the group members, I can message anyone here without being connected to them. So that could be a great way also to, to generate leads because you target people based on their interests. You know, being a member of a group or attending to an event is a sign of interest and you can use the sign of interest as an icebreaker in your messages like, oh, okay, hello, I noticed that you were part of this group, that uh, you were attending this event, etc. And you can use that in your LinkedIn messages uh, for your outreach. If you want to go one step further in terms of lead generation with LinkedIn, you can check Sales Navigator. So basically, Sales Navigator is a premium offer on LinkedIn. It's uh, an upgraded uh, search engine for, uh, for, uh, for, for LinkedIn. So you get much more filters. Uh, for example, for accounts 
got a really interesting filters that is company headcount growth. So basically I can filter p uh, companies that have grown like for more than 20% during the last year. So this, you don't get it into basic search engine. I can also make like company lists, create lists like this and cross account churches and lead churches. Like I'm going to show you right now how it's done. So here I'm like creating an account list. Like I say, oh, okay, I want to target this account. Here I take completely random accounts just to show you how it works. Then I go here, I click on custom lists. I click on like any list I've built. So here I got the employees, the people working in this company. And I can like in two clicks, have all the CEOs of the people in my company list. So here I've identified the decision makers inside an account list I created in just two clicks. So you see that this is much more powerful than the LinkedIn basic search. If you are looking to do account based marketing and identify decision makers quickly inside the company. Another advantage of LinkedIn sales navigator is the limitation on search results for the LinkedIn basic search. You only can see the first thousand results. So here, if I'm like writing freelance, yeah, you can see that I have like 7 million results, but I can only 100 pages here and not each pages. I can tell results. So I got a limitation of 1000 results on the result I can see and extract from LinkedIn here. Whereas on sales navigator, I got 100 pages, but of 25 results. So I got 2,500 results. I can uh, check and extract from sales navigator instead of 1000 for the LinkedIn basic search. So if you are looking to create large lead list, you may prefer sales navigator. If you want to know more about how to use Sales Navigator efficiently to generate leads and how it is more efficient than the LinkedIn basic search, you can check the video that will appear just right here. In this video, I go through every detail on how the LinkedIn Sales Navigator search engine works and how to use it to generate qualified lead lists. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you did, please smash the like button below and subscribe to the channel. I wish you a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye guys.